Good evening, everyone. Good evening, teacher. Hello, Carlos, welcome. Are you going to be available today? Hello, teacher, good evening. Uh, fine. Okay. Hello, Isabel. Hello, Deborah. Teacher, para mí se lleva la casa. Puede estar como ya por mi casa, lo que alguna chica no se ha pero no está lista, pero no tiene alguien que se ha Okay, no problem, Deborah. No problem. Yeah, because the sound is really loud over there. It's very noisy. It's okay. It's okay. Thank you. Okay, people, we are going to start the class today. We are in our class number 16. So we are going to start a new unit. Yay! Unit four. Unit four. Unit four. Everybody, welcome. We are um, practicing new vocabulary new grammar structures okay we 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 learn some very polite expressions to ask for someone to help you out with issues that you have with any technical uh, problem issue um with any device technological devices Okay, this is what we are going to try. Uh, we are going to learn in unit four. Okay, this is what we are going to learn in unit four. So, welcome everybody. As always, we want to do a feedback. All right, so I will send you a link and you are going to play just a little bit with the WH question words with the present continuous. Okay. Uh, WH questions with the present continuous. Remember the structure, remember. Okay, I will send you the link in this very moment. Okay. Uh, here we are. Please click on the link and access the game. All right, access the game. This is a quiz. Hi, good evening, Saul. Welcome. Uh, we are going to play just a little bit with the WH question words. Okay, we want to practice the present continuous question um, with the WH information question. So please, everybody, click on the link. Click on the link. Yes, thank you. There you are, guys. Mm -hmm. Write a nickname. Uh -huh. Write a nickname. I have only three participants, guys. I have Rosa, Saul, Magali. I see only three participants in. Everybody, please join. Okay, we will start. There you go, nice. Mm -hmm. There we have Carlos Ernesto and Marta Alicia. Great. We have six participants in. Juan Carlos, please join. There you are. Thank you, Juan Carlos. Okay, then are you ready now? And we start in three, two, one. Hi, teacher. Thank you. 
Teacher, aún no comprendo qué vamos a hacer con el enlace. Ok, Isabel, lo que tiene que hacer es hacer clic en el enlace y entrar y jugar. Sí, ya entré, solo me pide el nombre y luego le doy a empezar. Exactly, yes. Uh -huh. Ok. Teacher, ¿podría compartirlo siempre en WhatsApp? Ahí está. WhatsApp? Ahí está en el WhatsApp ¿Qué? también. Ok, ahora. Sixty nine percent, guys. So please focus, focus. You sure? Yes, tell me. My computer is is turned off. <laughs> Entonces me 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 cerró todo, así que no pude, no no sigo en el quiz. Sí, me conecté ahorita el celular mientras. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Sorry. But you may access, you may access, even if it is started, you may access. Okay, teacher. Mm -hmm. Seventy five per cent. You can do it better, guys. You can do it better. Go ahead, go ahead. Alma, I don't see you. Oh, there you are. Go ahead, go ahead, Alma. Okay. Go, go, Isabel. You are in a very, you are in the right way. Go ahead, go ahead. Good, Fernando. Okay, Carlos is done. Very good. Mm -hmm. 76%, guys. 76%. So please, everybody, doing it better. How's it going? How's it going? Nice. I think eight of you have finished. Very good. Did you access, Saul? Yes, to sure. All right, go ahead. <laughs> continue, continue. There you are, I can see you now. Okay, Carlos, great. <laughs> Yes, you are in the first place. Exactly. Uh huh. You are in the first place. Great. But this is a global, a global a uh, percentage. Okay. So we are getting the seventy-seven percent yet. So everybody helping over there. Teacher, what is? Tell me. Do you? ¿Qué lugar ocupé hasta ahorita? Ahí. Okay, you are in the third place. Uh, actually, in the fourth place. 
fourth place because Alma is still working. Uh -huh. I have you in the fourth place. Guys, but we have the 73% and we are getting lower. No, we can't, we can't. Go ahead, please, move it up, move it up. 72, oh, 71, no. Oh my goodness. Okay, uh-huh, 72. Teacher are finished? Yeah, but not, not everybody. Well, actually, I have, let's see. Allow me just to see because it's still moving. It's still moving. Uh-huh. So I have 15 of you in. Allow me just to see how many of you finished. Okay, so 16 players, 16 players, all right? Are, are you done yet? Very good. Okay, so guys, we got the 71%, all right? 71%, it means we got a seven, all right? We got a seven. Oh my goodness, we are getting lower, 70, 69%, oh my goodness. It's getting lower, it's getting lower. So let's look, let's look. Okay, here we go. Are we done yet? Ya todos finalizamos porque aquí me sigue subiendo que otros están a, se están metiendo nuevamente. A ver, están volviendo a entrar, jóvenes. No, ahorita ya calmemos, calmemos porque nos está bajando, nos está bajando en vez de subir. Ajá, tengo 14 completos. Me faltan cuatro de ustedes. Ok. A ver, ¿ya están todos? Levanten la mano. Raise your hand. Who finished? Yo creo que ya terminé, teacher. Volví a ingresar y creo que estaba empezando otra vez. Yo creo que sí, Isabel. Yo creo que sí. A ver. Vamos a darle finalizar. Thank you. Vamos a darle finalizar y vamos a ver quiénes ganaron, ¿ok? Vamos a ver. We are going to finish. And... Ok. First place for uh, Carlos. The second is for Alma. And the third one is for Saul, ¿ok? Those are the places. There we go. Mm -hmm. Now I will send it through the WhatsApp, right? I will send it through the WhatsApp. There you are. Mm -hmm. Now we want to see the others. Okay. ¿Lo quieren repetir para ver si hacemos mejor el, el, el porcentaje? A ver si sacamos mejor nota, jóvenes. ¿Qué les parece? ¿Sí? ¿Hay alguna duda antes de comenzar acerca de las que ya vieron? Teacher, solo son... Eh, es, que, es que yo volví a entrar porque después me aparecía como una lista que había que contestar. Esas yo no las había contestado. Eh, no, no, solo son 15, solo son 15. Ajá, solo son 15. Eh, bueno, 10 creo yo en esta. Vale, vamos a ver, otra vez, vamos todos, les voy a enviar el link, ¿sí? Porque este es otro diferente, este es otro diferente, pero es el mismo, el mismo quiz, ¿ok? Vaya, vale, entonces todos poniendo ahí su nickname, entrando. Vamos. Nickname, entrando. Ok, vamos, vamos, pero pongámosle así coco, vea, divirtámonos, pero al mismo tiempo concentrémonos, vamos. Ajá, I have three of you in, ajá, 
Uh -huh. Ronaldo, very good, welcome. Saul, uh -huh. Carlos, Fernando. Uh -huh. Don't see anybody else. Isabel. Vuelve a entrar, Isabel, al, al último link que acabo de enviar. Alma, I don't see you in. Okay, there you are. Samuel, very good. Mm -hmm. Alma, great. All right, so three, two, one. Here we go. Seventy-one percent, seventy-five, good. Eighty percent, eighty-two, yes. Eighty-five, great, eighty-six, yes, yes. Eighty-two, guys, hey, come on, come on. You can do it, you can do it. Mm -hmm. Yes. Seventy nine percent. Hey, come on, guys, you can do it better. Only ten questions, only ten questions. Are you done yet? 77% guys, 76. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Teacher solo son a diez y ya. Exactly. Okay. Only ten. Only ten. Tomamos eh, screenshot. Mm -hmm. No, no, you don't need. You don't need. I have eight of twelve done. All right. We are waiting for you four guys. Raise your hand who finished. Who finished? Raise your hand. One, two, three, four. All right. Okay, guys. Today, now we got 78%. Oh, 77. Oh my goodness, 77%. So I'm going to press, uh, yes, here we go. Okay. Ha ha, now they changed, they changed. Now we have different, different winners, different winners, guys, different winners. Aha, uh -huh. the first place is for Alma, the second for Carlos, and the third for, no, the second for Fernando, and the third for Carlos. Okay, clap, clap, clap. It was for the time. It was for the time, all right? It was for the time. So great, great. Is there any questions so far about the questions you uh, had in this exercise? No questions? 
Easy, right? Easy. Okay, we're going to call the roll. So please, everybody, remember to turn your camera on. And when I call your name, you have to say present. Alma Yamilet Hernández de Vázquez. Present, teacher. Carlos Edgardo Vázquez Espino. Present, teacher. Carlos Ernesto Galán Serrano. Present, teacher. Débora Yamilet Campos Cortés. Present, Fernando teacher. Enrique yeah. Martínez Macín. Ok, Débora. Fernando Noel Mauricio Cíntigo. Present, teacher. Gabriela Lizeta Hernández Cruz. Helen Saray Hernández Larín. Present teacher. Ok. Um, José Antonio Campos Rivas. Juan Carlos Gavidia Alfaro. Present teacher. All right, Juan Carlos. María Isabel Rivas Guevara. Present teacher. Marta Alicia Rivera Sosa. Present teacher. Ok. Ronaldo José Guerrero Hernández. Present teacher. Rosa Estela Polanco García. Present teacher. Samuel Eduardo Araniva Galvez. Present. Saúl Álvarez Pacheco. Stephanie Magali. Present teacher, sorry. Amaya Reyes. All right. Present teacher. Okay, Stephanie. Verónica Beatriz Erso de Saldaña. Okay, people, now that you are in, we are going to practice. Do you want to practice some other questions? Uh, we're going to practice one exercise. We want to unscramble the questions, okay? We are going to unscramble the questions. So allow me just to get over here. And I will send a document. This is a PowerPoint document for you to move everything, okay? And have access to edit the presentation, okay? So allow me to get over here. Maybe this is right here. It's a grammar exercise. Okay, here it is. I will send it through the WhatsApp chat, okay? So this is a PowerPoint file. Okay. Allow me just to explain what you have to do over there. All right. Just to explain. We have to uh, put in order to unscramble the words in order to form the questions. So here it is. You will find a slide just like this one. And what you have to do is to follow the numbers and follow the color, okay? Follow the color. For example, number one, okay? Number one, what color is number one? Yellow. Yellow, okay, so the words in yellow, in yellow boxes, are from number one. So you have to put in order the words asking a question, forming a question. All right, what's the first word in a question word? Ah, it's a WH word, right? So let's look in the yellow ones, which is the, okay, this is the one, right? So you move it over here, all right? What goes... Next, the B verb. All right, here I have one B verb, maybe is the one that we need to, right? Then the subject. Ah, the subject. Well, it could be this one, right? My sister's friends, right? Okay, now the verb plus the ing. Well, actually, I don't see it. So you see it? Doing. Uh huh. Okay, it's right here. You see? I move doing, right? Oops, this is only one problem. <laughs> okay, so right here. Then we go. Oops, again the same. Go ahead. 
get this one. Okay. And then the complement, right? At the supermarket, right? Remember the question mark. Maybe the question mark is separated, so it will be more difficult. Okay, then I have the first one. What are my sister's friends doing at the supermarket? All right, I did it. Now you continue with the number two, three, four, five, and six. According to the colors, the way to, uh, the structure to form the WH questions with the present continuous, okay? Are we okay so far? All right, then we are going to create the breakout rooms and you are going to work together in small groups. Please everybody join your rooms. Isabel, please join your room. Fernando, please join your room. Yeah, estoy hmm? tratando de actualizar mi... Donde me quise meter me pidió actualizar el micrófono y estoy intentando. Aún no he podido ingresar. ¿No ha podido ingresar al qué, me dice? Eh, mi, mi celular no lo tengo actualizado, la aplicación para poder meterme al, al enlace que usted me mandó. ¿Al breakout? Al, sí. al, ah, ok. Pero, eh, oh, está bien. Entonces, en cuanto ya esté listo, usted se mete, ¿sí? Ok. Ok. Fernando Noel. Yo perdí la señal, me sacó de Zoom, volví a entrar, pero ya no, ya no entré al Breaker Zoom. Vale, revise abajo donde dice sala de grupos pequeños, en el menú donde está el micrófono, la video y todo eso. Ahí tiene que haber un, un apartado con un numerito rojo que dice eh, sala para grupos pequeños. Sala para grupos eh, O lo tiene en inglés, diría breakout rooms. No, de eso no encuentro ninguna. Probablemente está en los tres puntitos. Chat, configuración, fondos, desconectar, levantar la mano. No, quizás no me aparece. No le aparece. Ok. Entonces lo voy a mandar a uno diferente para porque no lo puedo enviar al mismo. Ok. Pero veo que tiene dos, tiene dos devices. No, solo uno. Vamos a ver si sí, porque el otro es Fernando. No, pero sí tiene dos devices. Ah, me aparece repetido usted. Hello, teacher. Sorry, teacher. Ajá. I'm in the top of my computer and, and, and out. Ah, ok. Bye. Entonces hagamos una cosa, jóvenes. Quédense trabajando acá, Isabel, Saúl y Fernando. Ok. Quédense trabajando aquí, en el main room. Ok, teacher. Ok. okay. 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 Ahorita no, no puedo ver el, la presentación porque se me apagó la máquina. En la que me carga, si gustan, no sé quién comparte y vamos armando las. Sentences. Eh, creería yo que si Isabel tiene computadora, mejor desde ahí porque se puede editar. Tiene computadora, Isabel. Sí, se fue, Isabel. Ok, si no, Fernando, hola, uh, niño. I connect my computer. I turn okay. Hello, Veronica. Are you available to participate? 
Hello, teacher. Good night. Hello. How are you tonight? Are you available to participate? Uh, and not not yet, teacher. Oh, okay. All right. But you may stay in this main session to listen how they work. All right. Sure. Mm -hmm. The problem is I have to <laughs> move, guys. I have. I have to go to another room. All right. So <laughs> I'll come back. Right. Okay, teacher. Thanks. Where is the boss? Having okay. Mary, uh -huh. Según el orden de la... Where and we is el verbo be is uh -huh. el sujeto el verbo llena eh? your boss no, uh, where is your boss having Porque en este caso, vos creo que sería jefe, va él. Ajá. ¿Dónde está? Ay, no lo va a arreglar ahí. Yo no puedo. Pero... No lo puedo, yo no puedo, quiero ver. No, yo no tengo el teléfono, estoy, no puedo. Ah, ok. Uh -huh. Usted no puede. No. Entonces en el cuaderno. Hello. Hi, Hola, teacher. Hi. Es que tiene que ponerle ahí habilitar edición, Stephanie. Ahí arriba, mira que tiene una que dice vista protegida. Póngale habilitar edición para que ya lo pueda usted trabajar. Y aquí se lo marco ahí, es que no me agarra, teacher. Ya lo había pinchado. Ok, póngale activar. Es que no tengo yo el, el, la aplicación. Ah, ok, bueno, ahí sí ya, ahí sí ya no podemos hacerlo porque no tiene entonces habilitada la de Microsoft. A ver, ¿alguien tiene PowerPoint? No. ¿No? Ok, voy a mandar no. a alguien acá de los de la sesión principal. Voy a enviar a los que están allá afuera, ellos tienen ahí para que se unan todos, ok. Ya vengo. ¿O saben qué? Vámonos a la main session todos. ¿Ok? Vámonos a la sesión principal, que ahí ya están trabajando tres que no pudieron ingresar a los grupos. Vámonos todos a la sesión principal. You. Yes. Yes, it is. Yes. Are my sister. Sí, porque es la, la tercera persona. Mm -hmm. Doing. Ahí va. Ahí está. La siguiente sería la naranjada. ¿va? Sí, ese color creo que es. Ok, class. Uh, uh... <laughs> yes, but remember, okay. uh, no, 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 it's just that I'm informing that your classmates uh, weren't able to work in PowerPoint, so they are adding to your your group, all right? Here you have Alma, Isabel, and Stephanie, okay? So you may work together, please, integrate. Okay, teacher. Hello, Alma, Isabel. Hello. Okay. Vamos a buscar todo, ¿verdad? Todo, todito lo, los cositos que están ahí, los colores, solo es a ordenar la oración. Es correcto, es but respect a structure, the WH word, plus B, plus subject, plus variant G, 
plus complement. What? Okay. Um, where is? Oh, sorry, 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 sorry. Where is? Bueno, por lo que veo, están de acuerdo con lo que estamos haciendo. Y esta otra. Yo considero que es what are doing my sister friends at the supermarket. Así como lo tenía anteriormente. Ajá. Porque es que el doing es como que. Como Yo que recuerdo. Es el verbo, que... siempre. Uh, hello. Siempre. Hello, hello teacher. teacher. How are you doing, guys? Everything okay? Well, just. Eh. Teacher, uh, donde yo entiendo siempre el doing siempre va a ir después de decir, de, por ejemplo, el verbo, ¿no? El sujeto, no. perdón. Actually, just follow, follow the structure you have over there. It says WH word plus the verb B plus the subject plus the verb ING plus the complement. Ok, follow the structure. Okay. Ahí arriba tienen la estructura para que se vayan guiando, ¿sí? Ya entendí, teacher, sorry. Es que vengo entrando a la casa, vengo aturdido todavía. Entonces estaba bien como la habías puesto anteriormente. Aquí así. Bueno. Entonces, este el ING va después de... Va a decir ya, where is your boss living man or mating? Así es verdad, todos estamos de acuerdo aquí o, o lo cambiamos. La otra sería why, the company, why is the company playing? Extra horse this month. Esto. Está bueno. When? No, ya no hay más. No. Es correcto. Ok, next. Eh, Alma. ¿Qué color es el morado? Casi no veo. How? Purple. Is... Purple. Ok, ok, teacher. Thanks. Is Alma. In the next. Okay. He. So, he. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. In the next one. Dividing. 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 Uh, Correctly, the word, pronunciation. Divide. So, the participants. Correct. Dividing. Okay, teacher, how is he dividing the group of participants? In the Finnish, Stephanie, you can. Why am I telling to get information? Who? I? No, am I? I am I. Okay. Calling, calling, calling. Right. Sorry. Mm -hmm. e... To the complement. Okay. Okay, teacher. We are finished. <laughs> Great job. Very good. Mm -hmm. Very good. We are, we are waiting for your classmates. All right. We are waiting for your classmates. Okay, teacher. I closed all the breakout rooms now. So they are coming back. Mm -hmm. Okay. The say, teacher, I'm coming back. <laughs> yeah, but please, please uh, show your screen. <laughs> show your screen. 
Yes, please share it. Okay, teacher. Okay, there you go. Uh -huh. I think we can share uh, the four screens. Just allow me to see if I, if I can do this, everybody at the same time. So it says simultaneously. So I'll, uh, allow me to see your screen, Carlos Edgardo. Can you share your screen? Rosa, did you work with Carlos Edgardo? No? Yes, teacher. Okay. Uh, is there any other screen you want to share? We have Carlos Edgardo and Saul. Please, both, share the screen. In process, teacher, in process. Sorry. Oh, okay. No, teacher. All right. There it is, Carlos. Uh huh. Now, if it is possible to see yours, Saul. Wait. It says you shared a file in the meeting. Ah, uh, okay. No, I thought you could share it right here to show it. Okay. There you are. There you are. Okay, nice. Just want to see something. Now we are uh, viewing the Carlos Edgardo, Edgardo Vasquez Espino screen, right? So let's look at if I can see. Okay, you shared a file, Samuel. Very good. Allow me to see. Oh, nice. Uh huh. Okay, let's look. Mm -hmm. Okay. And number six, just check number six, Samuel. Uh, look. Uh, can you tell us, please, which is the number six, Carlos Edgardo? Can you read it? Thank you. Mm -hmm. the, the number six is who am I calling to get information? That's good. Uh -huh. Who am I calling, right? Who am I calling? Who am I calling? Yes. Mm -hmm. So this it's is the... Yes, it's kind of difficult because it's not so use uh, you it's not so usual that you ask in the first person, right? Usually we are asking for anybody else. But yes. for example, if you are asking for information, you use I. So we have to get used to this. So we are going to say for example, who am I calling? Um and the other one was allow me just to be in the one of Samuel uh huh. No, uh, all of them are okay. All of them are okay, Samuel. Very good. Good job. Uh huh. Is there any question about the questions in this activity? Did you have any trouble? Any doubt? And alguna duda? Alguna pregunta del trabajo que acaban de hacer? Eh, yo dije solamente tenía una duda en la número seis. Este, Number six. Cuando uno dice I am, pero como es pregunta, creo yo que, que va la I después del am. Exactly, Carlos. Mm -hmm. This is what Carlos was saying. Carlos Edgardo también estaba eh, diciendo lo mismo que a él le parece como un poquito más difícil decir who am I, ¿verdad? Pero realmente tenemos que acostumbrarnos un poquito a esto porque no es que normalmente estemos preguntando en primera persona, ¿verdad? Normalmente preguntamos por alguien más, ¿verdad? Pero eh, en este caso estamos como pidiendo una instrucción, ¿verdad? Entonces, obviamente la instrucción es para mí, ¿sí? Entonces, yo pido, who am I calling? Y sí, el orden se invierte. El orden se invierte porque es pregunta. Mire, acá seguimos el orden con WH word plus the B plus the subject plus the verb ING plus the complement plus the question mark if you are writing it, ¿ok? Got it? Everybody agrees? Uh, ¿Alguien ordenó de forma diferente? ¿Alguna? Do you agree? Teacher. Tell me, Marta Alicia. Eh. Bueno, nosotros sí ordenamos la última como 
I am. Ah, ok, ahí sí hay error, porque como en pregunta, tenemos que pasar el B después de la WH word, ¿verdad? Uh -huh. okay. Y después viene el sujeto. Ok, perfecto, ok. Sí, ahí lo vi con Samuel, por eso eh, hacíamos la observación. Gracias, Marta Alicia, muy bien. Ok, people, so thank you very much, Carlos, for sharing. Thank you very much, Saul, for sharing, too. And thank you very much, Samuel, for sending your uh, image. All right, people. Have no more questions, right? Are we okay so far? Are we okay so far? Okay, let's practice them. Okay, let's practice them in a different way. This is easier. And we just want to have fun completing things, right? <laughs> completing the exercises. So let's move just a little while. To do this exercise, the first one, all right? This is affirmative, sentences in the present continuous. Just to reaffirm or to recall what we, the, the structure for the affirmative and maybe for negative. Just give me one second, I'm over there. Okay, we have to scramble the words to make sentences. Estamos en pura scramble ahorita, ¿verdad? Hicimos el scramble de las eh, preguntas. Ahora hagamos un scramble para estas sentences. All right. Las vamos a hacer todos juntos acá. Okay. Here we have them. But it's your turn, guys. So, vamos a ver quién puede accesar y poner texto. A ver. ¿Quién puede accesar y poner texto, chicos? I can teacher. Ok, Saul, please come in. And uh, everybody, please participating. All right. Every, everybody, please participate. <clears throat> Number one. Ok. This... Subject verb complement, right? Subject verb complement. I will write down that over here, okay? I will write this. Subject. Children. Mm -hmm. Children are playing. Everybody, please, everybody. Are playing, playing in the are playing in the kindergarten. Kinder, 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 okay. Saúl, le voy a pasar kinder. por acá. A ver si lo tengo por acá. A ver, le voy a pasar así y le voy a. Ah, bueno, está bien. Pero mejor así con este. No sé si le parece mejor. Ok. Así. Ven. Y usted escribe ahí. Ok, teacher. Mm -hmm. um, uh, no, creo que no puedo escribir, teacher. Ah, pero ahorita usted tiene que aceptar el control. Ya se lo pasé. Ah, sorry, teacher. Sorry. Mm -hmm. I don't see the options. With I says, I'm waiting for you to control my screen. I send the invitation. Ok. It's okay. Sofia is the children. No me parece, teacher. Okay, let's do it. Okay, let's okay, do okay. it that way. Let's go it that way. All right, as you were doing. Continue. Okay, mm -hmm. It's loaded, teacher. It's loading. My God. The car. Okay. Teacher, the, uh, the children, Number the one, children, the children uh, are playing in the kindergarten. Yes, the. Mm -hmm, because we have two thus. Mm -hmm. Teacher. Three again, teacher. Sorry. <laughs> Okay, it sounded great, uh, good, right? If we say just children are praying, so it, it is not needed, but okay, we have it right there. 
Mm -hmm. Or the playing, playing. Kinder garden. Number two, guys. Number two. The cat, my cat. The cat. The cat is. Oh, the cat. The cat or my cat. My cat, my cat. is sleeping my cat. on my the cat. cat. On my cat. My cat is my sleeping. Is sleeping on sofa. On my, my sofa. The sofa. 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 Mm -hmm. On sofa. Sofa. Es el sofa. Mm -hmm. On the sofa. On the sofa. The cat. My cat. Try to do number three and send it through the through the chat. That's easy, Today number is three. Today is rainy. Today at the end, because it's a time expression, right? It goes at the end of a sentence. Okay. It's, it's raining. It's Today. It is it is today rainy. Uh, today is at the end. Uh, Subject today. verb it's complement. Raining. Subject. It is it, 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 it is raining today. It is raining today, guys. It is raining today. <laughs> it is not raining, right? But it's imagine it has an exclamation mark. Okay. It has an exclamation mark. Si tiene un signo de exclamación, ¿cómo se lee? A ver. It, it is raining tonight. Today, tonight. Yes, today. Today, today. Mm -hmm. A ver, Ronaldo, it, con exclamation mark. It is raining today. Yes, correct. Ajá. Number four, guys. Subject, verb, complement. George. George is sweet. Sorry. Are. Uh, are. Uh, are listening uh, music there in two bedroom. Por ahí se los mandó Carlos también en el chat. Miren, ahí Carlos lo envió también. A ver, ¿cómo decía Ronaldo? Pero acá lo creo que le hace falta una, le hace falta tú. O sea, yo dije, George in sweet listening, uh, no, I'm sorry. Verb. George in sweet are listening uh, music there in to bedroom. Mm, nope, no, no, no. no. George yeah. and Listening to. Are exactly, listening. listening to music, yes. Uh -huh. Listening to music and mm -hmm. they're in bedroom. In their. In their bedroom. In their bedroom, yes, in their bedroom. Aha, uh -huh. it's in there, verdad? In there. Sorry, teacher, the, the side, the letter is more big, the, the space. <laughs> okay, no problem, but you can, in, where it says format, do you see format? There you can, um, <clears throat> a, let's say, load the size, load the size, okay. where it okay. says format. You got it? Yes, teacher. Okay. Continue, guys. Number five. Sarah. Okay. Yes. 
Sara is making, is making, is making que, the cake is the kitchen. Mm -hmm. Just cake. Sara, uh -huh. let's see, there is another chat over there. Sara is making, yes. what is she making? What is she making? Cake. cake. She's cake. making a cake. Mm. A cake. Where? In... Where? Make... Kitchen. In the kitchen. Yes. In the kitchen. Ajá. Acuérdense que cuando hay una sola cosa, se dice the, cuando es única. Pues sí, obviamente tenemos solamente un cuarto de cocina en las casas, ¿verdad? Es lo usual. Entonces, in the kitchen. Siempre será in the kitchen, in the living room, in the dining room, etc. ¿Ok? You got it? Ver cómo lo mandaron por acá, Carlos. Sara is making a cake in the kitchen. Great, Carlos Edgardo. Yes. Uh -huh. Ahí lo tienen en el chat, eh, Saúl. Vamos a ver. Uh -huh. Great. Number six, right? Uh -huh. My dad. My dad is watching. My dad is watching a football. A match football. A match. A match. My dad is watching a match and on, on the on television. On television. On my television. No, 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 no. My dad is... Okay, aha. Uh -huh. My dad is... Is watching... 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 A football... A football... Uh -huh. On television. A football what? A football, football match. Aha. Uh -huh. On television, right? There you go. Great. A ver si lo tenemos por ahí que alguien ya lo haya enviado en el chat. No, no yet. Ok. Football match. Great, Carlos Edgardo. Yes. ¿Mm? Así que si lo tienen, a ver, Ronaldo, vaya armándolo en el chat para que le vaya dando más sentido. Ok. Vamos, acuérdese de llevar todos la fórmula, ¿verdad? Subject plus B plus the verb ING plus the complement. Ok, so number seven. My brother. My brother. My brother is having. Ya me la ganaron. <risa> no importa, no importa, usted escríbala, escríbala, de ese duro usted solito, vamos. <risa> ok, my brother, ajá. Por ahí lo mandó Carlos Edgardo, muy bien, ajá. Como dice Stephanie, el que mandó Carlos Edgardo. My brother. Por ahí lo mandó my Alma también. Having a shower in the bathroom. All right. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, number eight. Red. Red. Subject. Is... Red, is... Red is driving. Red is driving a taxi. Mm -hmm. Is a Taxi is driving. His friend is the taxi driver. Fred is driving his taxi. His taxi drive. Ok, vamos, sujeto. ¿Quién es el sujeto? Fred. Fred. Vaya, comenzamos con Fred. Ajá. ¿El verbo be? Is. Is. Ok. ¿El verbo más ING? 
Driving. 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 Ok, Fred is driving. ¿Qué está manejando? His taxi. His taxi. His taxi. His taxi. Exactly. Where? Where? Road along. Along the along road. The road. Oh. Along the road. Mm -hmm. Exactly. Fred is driving his taxi along the world. Thank you, Carlos Edgardo. Por ahí se lo mandaron, Saúl, también. Ok. Vamos todos, vamos todos. Number eight, what's that, right? Ah, es, ahí sí lo puedes tirar. Vamos a ver si lo puedo tirar yo por acá. Y ustedes Tim, continúen with number nine. Tim and Betty are drinking. Drinking. Drinking a glass of lemonade. Of lemonade. Lemonade. Okay. Se me quito. Let's come in. Oh, I was going to rescue. <laughs> the rescue. Yeah. Uh huh. Tin and Betty are drinking a glass of lemonade. I don't hear you, Deborah. Where are you? Juan Carlos, where are you? Marta Alicia, participate. <sighs> Isabel, please participate. Uh, I'm sorry. Number 10. Mark. Mark is. Mark is. Um, reading an email. Is in email. Waking. Email. Mm -hmm. Mark. Uh, email. Very good. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mark is writing an email, right? Mark is writing an email. All right, people. Is there any questions so far? No questions? Okay. Y si quiero decir lo contrario, que no están jugando, ¿cómo diríamos? La número uno. Number one. Aquí está mal este da. Ok, este da no existe. A ver, ajá. A ver, lo voy a corregir acá yo, ok. Vamos a ver. Acordémonos que después del verbo be, va el ing. No llevamos nada en medio de esos dos, ¿verdad? The children are, play, are, play, are playing in the kindergarten. Ahora, si no, the children aren't the children aren't playing in the aren't. kindergarten mm -hmm. what about the cats where is the cat sleeping uh-huh the cat isn't sleeping yes that's correct what about if it is not raining today what is the way to say it it, it, it isn't raining today. Very good. And the negative for the number four? George. George uh, adding, listening to music in the background. Very good. Mm -hmm. What about number five? Negative. Sorry, it's so not making, making a K. Making a K in the kitchen. Very good. Number six, negative. My dad isn't yeah. watching a football match on television. That's correct. Number seven, negative. My brother isn't having a shower in the bathroom. Okay, number Listen. eight, negative. Fred right. isn't driving right. his taxi right. along, along the road. Number nine, negative. Tin and Betty are in drinking a glass of lemonade. Okay, and the number ten. Mark is sending writing an email. Very good. Okay, people, I think we completed, right? We completed all the material for the present continuous. So today we want to start with 
another topic. And this is a very important topic because usually we are asking for someone to do something for us, okay? And we need to learn some vocabulary, polite vocabulary, okay? Please guys, check your audios. Okay, watch out. Thank you. All right, so now I will share the screen with you and we will start with the unit four. Unit four is about polite language to report problems that we might have in our jobs with technical issues, okay? With technical issues. And let me just put this in the right way. Okay, then our unit four is tech support. Tech support, okay? Tech support. What is the objective? Well, actually the objective, the general is to express common tech support problems and how to report them by phone. Mm, in these days, we don't only report things by phone. We report things through text messages. We report this through automated systems. Okay, we maybe have applications where you just uh, fill a form and it's systematically or automatically um, routed or addressed to the um, right department or the department in charge of solving that kind of issues, okay? But we are going to try to start about the reporting by phone, okay? What is the class objective? Well, you will be able to report a problem via telephone, all right? You will be able to report a problem via telephone. So please, Isabel, can you read the class objective? This one? Okay, teacher. La parte de abajo, ¿verdad? Yes, okay. please. Participant will be able to report a problem via telephone. Via telephone. All right. Thank you very much. So, well, actually, our manual um, will be our guide, okay? Our guide. Because today... We want to identify some issues. So let's start with this conversation, all right? I will say, good morning, this is Peter from Tech Support. How can I help you? Hi, Peter, this is Robert. I'm calling from the Human Resources Department. I'd like to report a problem with my computer. What is it, Robert? It doesn't seem to work. I see. Uh, let me ask you some questions, okay? now. Let's read it. Everybody reading it, okay? Everybody, 30 seconds to read it. Okay, is there any question about the vocabulary in this conversation? I'd like easy yeah. pronunciation. Okay. Great, that is a very good expression to say I want to, but in a very polite way. Okay, we use I like. Okay, I like. So I will explain this just a little while, um, a little bit, okay? It means I would like to report a problem, okay? We use would. Would is a modal verb. Would is a modal verb to help you to ask for something in a polite way, okay? Very politely, very polite language. This is the way to say, I want, okay? 
This is a polite way to say a polite way to say I want. If you say I want, then it sounds very unnatural and it sounds very strong, direct, unpolite. Okay. It sounds unpolite as if you are ordering or as with the uh that you are not polite, okay? You are not educated, right? If you don't say I would like to. Would like to. Toda esta es una expresión. Miren, y va junto, ¿sí? I would like to. Okay? You would like to. She would like to. Right? It would like to. Yeah? We would like to. They would like to. Okay? This is a modal verb. This is a modal verb. But. In this expression, the complete expression means I want in a polite way, okay? So, if we go back to the conversation, I'd like to report a problem, okay? Es como si estuviera diciendo yo quiero reportar un problema, pero, pero en una manera muy amable, muy educada, okay? Are we okay? Mm -hmm. Teacher. Tell me, Marta Alicia. Sim. Sim. Mm -hmm. Sim significa el, es el verbo parece, okay? Parecer. ¿sí? It doesn't seem to work. Parece que no. Trabaja, ¿sí? Sin parecer, se mira que, ¿ya? Aparente, aparenta, aparentar, right? Something like that. Mm -hmm. Thank you, teacher. Great. Mm -hmm. Okay, then, let's try to role play the conversation. So, Peter and Robert, right? We have Fernando Noel is Peter and Ronaldo Josué is Robert, okay? Okay, teacher. Mr. Fernando Noel. Otra vez. Third time. He's very polite because in the third is the last, right? <laughs> okay, Fernando doesn't answer. I'm so sorry, Ronaldo. Nobody, nobody in the IT department. <laughs> nobody, <laughs> nobody available. <laughs> okay, Carlos Ernesto, are you available? Carlos Ernesto, do you want to be Peter? Ya no lo tenemos. Carlos Ernesto, maybe he's in a call, right? Okay, a ver, miren, ustedes se me esconden. Yo creo que se me ha trabado el, el Zoom porque no... Nadie me responde, solo Ron. Ah, ok, no problem, no problem. Ah, tiene llamada, tiene llamada. Es que yo, cuando él está en llamada, yo no estoy en llamada. Oh, y cuando okay. yo estoy en llamada, él no está en llamada. Ok. No está... Uh -huh. Ok, Marta Alicia is ready. Marta Alicia will be Robert, ok? So, Peter, Ronaldo, and Robert, eh, Marta Alicia, ok? Ok. Eh, ready. Ready, Marta? Yes. Okay. Good morning. This is Peter from Tech Support. How I can I am sorry. How can I help you? No, no. How can I help you? How can I help you? Again. How can I, how Va, can I ver, help you? Todos abran el micrófono y van a ver lo que le está pasando a Ronaldo, okay? Van a ver lo que le vamos todos. How can I help you? Okay. How can I help you? Help you? How can I help you? Can I help you? Ajá, es un poco difícil, es un poco difícil, ¿por qué? Porque nosotros normalmente este lo hacemos cerrado como una O. Abramos, how, ok, how can I? How can I help you? Help How can I help you? How can I help you? Vamos a ver todos, how can I help you? How can, can I help, help you? you? How can I help you? How can I help you? 
All right, better, right? Better. Ajá, vaya, otra vez. Vamos a ver eh, Ronaldo and Marta Alicia, right? Good morning. Did is Peter from Tech Support. How and Kel, I know. How, how and Kel, no. How can I help you? How I can help you? How can I help you? Okay, sorry. Marta Alicia? Hi, Peter. This is Robert. I am calling from the Human Resource Department. I like to report a problem with my computer. What is Robert? It doesn't seem to work. I see. Let me ask you some questions. Okay, let me ask you. Let me ask you. Let me ask you. Uh -huh. Some questions. Some questions. All right, very good. So now, vamos a ver Saúl and Rosa, please. Good morning. This is Peter. Can I support? How can I help you? Hi, Peter. This, this is Robert. I call him from the Human Resource Department. He'd like to report a problem with my computer. What is wrong? I doesn't seem to work. I see. Let me ask you some question. Okay, very good, very good. We have to refine some pronunciations, okay? Because here is I'd, I'd, look, I'd. 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 No, I'd. Porque si decimos I'd, afuera la de. Nos va a costar decir I'd like. Miren, se nos traba para atrás. Entonces, adentro la D para que salga la L rápido, ¿sí? I'd like. I'd like. I'd like. Y hay que cerrar the like. The like. I'd like to report a problem. I'd like to report a problem. I'd like to report a problem. Okay, I'd like to report a problem. Okay, aquí es, what is it? What is it, Robert? What is it, Robert? Mm -hmm. What is it, Robert? What is it, Robert? It, it, aquí es it, no I. It doesn't it, seem to work. It doesn't it seem doesn't to work. It doesn't, it doesn't seem, seem to work. To work. Very good, very good. Mm -hmm. This is the Human Resources Department. Human, human Resources, Resources Department. Department. Mm -hmm. Human Resources Department. All right, there you go. So let's try to say our own greeting, okay? Our own greeting. ¿Cómo contestaríamos nosotros el teléfono en nuestro departamento donde nosotros laboramos? Diríamos, por ejemplo, good morning, this is, y dice su nombre, ¿sí? From, y diga su departamento donde usted labora, ¿sí? Y luego, how can I help you? Vamos a ver todos haciendo su propio greeting. This is a side share or? The same one. Mm -hmm. Just substitute your name and your department. I can't. I try it, sure. Yes, of course. Good morning. This is Saul from Project Manager. How can I help you? All right. Very good. Mm -hmm. eh, pero eh, su departamento se llamaría, a ver. Su departamento se llama así. From the project management. ¿Ok? Management. Porque usted está en la dirección de proyectos. ¿Verdad? Y usted es a project manager. Entonces, el departamento se llama the project management. ¿Ok? Project management. Uh -huh. ¿Ok? Entonces sería, good morning, this is Saúl. This is Saúl. Si es una llamada de afuera, normalmente nosotros nos pre presentamos completo, ¿verdad? Decimos Saúl eh, Álvarez, ¿ok? Puedo decir, good morning, this is Saúl Álvarez from the project management. 
How can I assist you? How can I help you? Perdón. How can I help you? Okay. There you go. Vamos a ver. Do you want to try again? Yes, sure. Good morning. This is Saul uh, from the project manager, management. How can I help you? Very good. Better, better. Okay, Rosa. Good morning. This is Rosa from an operation area. Así se dice, teacher, operation area. Yes. Uh -huh. Okay. Good morning. This is Rosa from operation area. How can I help? How can I help you? Okay. How can I help you? How can I? How can I help you? How can I help you? Uh huh. Very good. Very good. Mm -hmm. Marta Alicia. Teacher, how do you say? Uh, Departamento de Cobros, College Manager. Yes, collections. Let's see, collections. Collection Manager. Uh, no, porque a manager es el jefe. Management sería el, la gerencia. Uh -huh. Pero solo collections, ya se sabe que es collections department. You don't need management. Ok. Ok. Uh -huh. Y el ring ring. Ah, okay. <laughs> Again. Good morning. This is Marta Alicia from Collection. How, how can I help you? Very good, very good. Stephanie. In my job is Mina Express. Good morning. This is Amai. How can I help you? Very good. You used another one. And excellent. That's excellent. Look, because you answer for your company. You don't answer for your department. That's great. So, for example, you may say, good morning. Thank you for calling. And then you say the name of your uh, beauty salon, right? What, what is the name of your salon? Mina Expert. Mina. Mm -hmm. M-I-N-A? Mm -hmm. Okay, then you can say, thank you for calling Mina Expert. This is Stephanie. How can I help? How can I help you? Or how may I help you today? Right? How may I help you today? Right? But you did it great. You did it great, Stephanie. Mm -hmm. Yes. Can you repeat it, please? Yes. <laughs> Nina Esper, good morning. This is Mai. How can I help you? Stephanie, yes, you did. Very good, very good. Sorry, teacher. Mm -hmm. sure. Tell me, tell me. I, I have a problem. Is I I needed connection in the meeting in the, my work in my work. So it is and is connect to listening and to oh all discuss. right okay but please stay connected as a listener it's okay mm -hmm. thank okay, you for informing teacher. all right now isabel in my case what would be from teacher um you can just say um, ah puede decir así mire como este sí como este thank you for calling y usted dice eh, a ver, estación o cuál, ¿cómo contesta usted normalmente? ¿Cómo se llama su lugar donde usted está? Donde yo estoy. Um, Ajá. El cimarrón. Este, la dirección donde, donde trabajo. Eh, sí, o si lo conocen como una sucursal. Ah, ok. Um, por ejemplo, cuando usted es, le llaman, usted dice el cimarrón branch, o así. ¿Así? Sí. ¿Sucursal el cimarrón? ¿Sí? Sí. Ok, entonces, en vez de decir, por ejemplo, todo esto, ¿sí? Él solo dice, good morning, el cimarrón branch. This is, y dice su nombre, y dice la pregunta, how can I help you, or how may I help you? ¿Ok? Ok. Va, entonces esto sería acá. Ok. 
Y aquí le vamos a poner su nombre, ¿verdad? Vamos a ver. Bueno, lo vamos a hacer largo y lo vamos a poner de un solo así. Mrs. Isabel. ¿Ok? This is Isabel speaking. How may I help you today? ¿Ok? okay. ¿Quiere decirlo así? Sí, ¿verdad? Bien bonito le va a salir okay. así, Isabel. Vamos. Good morning. Thank you, you for Carly. El Cimarron Brush. This is Isabel speaking. How may I help you today? Great. Isabel, yes, yes. Uh huh. That is the way. Very good. Very good. Now, who wants to go next, guys? Who wants to go next? A ver, ¿quién quiere seguir? Hi. Who said I? Samuel, okay. Uh, good night. Uh, this is Samuel, uh, warehouse area. How can I help you? Great, great, Samuel. Very good. Okay, now look, you can say good night because you are answering. Then you have to say good evening. All right, good evening. Mm, good yeah. Evening. Yeah, because that's hello. That's hello. Good night is goodbye. All right. At the end, for example, uh, if I say it doesn't seem to work, let me ask you some questions. I ask you the question and then I say, all right, have a good night. Bye bye. Right. Have a good night. That's the bye bye. But in the hello, in the answer, I mean, in the introduction and the greeting, you have to say good evening. All right. Good evening. Okay. Do you want to repeat it? Okay. Good evening. Tell me somewhere. Uh, según yo, Good Evening solo era como en la, en la tarde noche, pero digamos que fuera esta hora, siempre se usa Good Evening. Yes. Uh -huh. Yes. Aunque sea esta hora, si hay eh, algún evento, alguna actividad, eh, o es su trabajo habitual, verá, y son sus responsabilidades, usted las hace en la evening, porque usted en ese caso no está durmiendo. Entonces, se dice good night cuando uno va a la cama o cuando dice adiós, ¿verdad? Sí es the night, porque sí es the night, pero se saluda con good evening, de hello, y se dice good night de adiós, ¿ok? De adiós. Okay. Uh -huh. There you go. Ok, ¿lo quiere repetir, Samuel? Yes. Ok. Good evening. Uh, uh, this is Samuel. Warehouse area. How can I help you? Great. Everybody clap for Samuel. Yes, exactly. Exactly. All right, people. Vamos a ver. Alguien que no ha pasado y que quiera pasar. Se trabó el Zoom. No. Yes, teacher. Ok, vamos, Débora. Ajá. A usted le vamos a hacer otro sonido, ¿verdad? Vamos a hacerle... Mm. No, la... no, ya iba a ser... ¿Cómo era? Teacher, oh, how do you say cobros? Collections. Collections. Ajá, collections. Puede decir credit okay. collections también. Collections. Uh -huh. Department, department, de collection. No, no, solo collections. Collection, ok. Ajá. Uh -huh. Ok, vamos a ver entonces, Debra. Good morning. This is Yamilet from Collection. How can I help you? Very good. Very good, Debra. Yes. Ahora solo nos falta refinar algo bien importante, ¿verdad? Que normalmente... Cuando nosotros contestamos, bueno, se han fijado que aunque uno esté gritando, regañando, haciendo lo que sea y contesta el teléfono, <coughs> afina la voz y lo hace muy amable, ¿sí? Con un tono así de locutora, ¿verdad? O de locutor, ¿sí? Hola, muy buenas tardes. Ya, yeah. o sea, tenemos que darle ese tono, ¿sí? Tenemos que darle ese tono cuando hablamos en un teléfono, ¿verdad? No vamos a ajá, sí, ¿qué tal? ¿verdad? No, vamos a hablarlo si sí, más agradable al oído, ¿verdad? Ok, bien. Teacher. Uh -huh. Tell me. Eh, entonces puedo repetir y puedo hacer como que... Pero es que oh, sure. yes. en inglés es muy... 
muy difícil, pero bueno. No, <risa> si la idea es que lo está aprendiendo. La idea es que lo está aprendiendo, Débora. A ver, y es lo que usted hace every day. A ver, ¿cómo contesta en español? Solo páselo al inglés, ¿ok? Vamos a ver, Débora. Ready? Yes. Uh, so. Ya hizo el sonido, teacher, es que tengo un bala la señora. Ya, ya lo hice. Vale, entonces la vamos okay. a hacer así como que fuera el IVR. <risa> <risa> ok. Good morning. This is Jamilut from college. Colegio. How can I help you? Ok, very good, very good. Uh -huh. Ok, ajá. Uh -huh. Vaya, entonces ya ahora ya cambiamos el tono al IVR, quiere decir que ya estamos addressing and redirecting, right? Redirect, redirecting the, um, the calls, okay? For new extensions, right? All right, people, let's read this one, okay? Good morning, this is Oasis. May, may I have your member ID number, please? Vamos a ver, esta es otra forma de contestar cuando usted ya sabe que... Lo primero que necesita es para poder accesar a la información del que llama el ID number, ¿verdad? O el account number. A ver, vamos a ver todos leyendo esta, pero así que se oiga. No importa como que sea el mercado central, no importa. Abran todo su micrófono y vamos a decir, Good morning, this is Oasis. May I have your member ID number, please? Vamos todos. May I have your member I member it number please? Member ID. Member ID. Member ID number. Digamos que si trabajaba, trabajáramos para una compañía telefónica, usualmente el número de teléfono es el que hace todo, el que despliega toda la información, ¿verdad? Mm -hmm. Entonces le podríamos, le podríamos poner, may I have your phone number, please, right? May I have your phone number or the phone number that you are calling me from, please, right? Ok, vamos a repetirlo otra vez como que fuera el mercado central, tampoco importa, vamos todos, everybody. Good morning. Good morning, this is Oasis. Morning. May I have your member ID number, please? Good morning, this is Oasis. May I have your member ID number, number, please? Very good, very good. So let's practice these other ones, right? Let's practice these other ones. Who wants to read this one? Good morning, Johnson. Okay. Love you. Very good. ¿De quién creen que contestaría de esta manera? Good morning. Mm -hmm. The lawyer. No, the lawyer, lawyer, no liar. Lawyer. <laughs> Lawyer. Ok, yeah, it's a law firm. It's a law firm. Pero en esa law firm tiene que existir alguien que está dirigiendo las llamadas. Esa es la receptionist, oh, ¿verdad? Yeah. Operator. Mm -hmm. The receptionist. Mm -hmm. so, good morning, Johnson and Johnson Law Firm. How may I direct your call? Right. Vale, vamos a ver hoy ustedes. Otra vez, eh, veamos Isabel. Good morning, Hudson and in, in, in Hudson. Life will how my ideas in your card. Great, Isabel. Alma. Good morning, Johnson and Johnson Law Firm. How many ideas you call? Very good, very good. Vamos a ver la siguiente. Thank you for calling Diamond Incorporated. Who do I have the pleasure of speaking with? Okay, vamos a ver. No importa, practiquémoslo todos. Abramos el micrófono, vamos. One, two, three. Thank you. Thank you, Thank you for calling me Diamond Inc. How do I have the pleasure of speaking with? Who? Who do I? Who do I? Who do I have the pleasure? 
of speaking, speaking with. with. Speaking white. With. 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 Mm -hmm. with. Ok. Acá, si se fijan, hay una abreviación, era una abreviatura. Este, bueno, ya, ya conocen esta abreviatura por una, por una película, ¿verdad? Monsters In. Monster. <risa> exactly. Pero se puede decir completa. Diamond Incorporated. Incorporated. Uh -huh. Diamond Incorporated. Uh -huh. Incorporated. 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 Uh -huh. Entonces, vamos a ver. Stephanie, léalo usted este. Thank you for calling Diamond Incorporated. Who do I have with you of speaking with? Very good. Thank you very much. A ver, um, le pedimos a, a ver, Ronaldo, are you in a call? No, no. Uh, okay, please read this is, one. Is available. Okay. This one. Yes. Mm -hmm. I am ready. Okay, go ahead. Ah, so you are waiting for the, okay. Okay, the... This one, this one. Ah, okay, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Okay, good morning. This is Ronaldo from the IT department. Is it a new claim? Okay, este sería, usted me pone su nombre acá, from the IT, IT. Cuando están las siglas así, ok, esto es un acronym, ok. En acronyms, como decir las siglas, ¿verdad? O la abreviatura es que voy a decir letra por letra en este caso, ¿sí? I think, I think, a ver, I think. Ah, sorry, te pronuncio en español, ok, IT department. Eh, sí, solo que este no se dice department, se dice department, department. department. Uh -huh. Exactly. Okay. Y luego tenemos la pregunta, ¿es this a new claim? ¿Es this a new claim? ¿Ok? ¿Es this, this a new claim? claim? Uh -huh. Esta pregunta, uh -huh. lo que está haciendo, lo que está haciendo esta pregunta es que, por ejemplo, eh, usted con eso sabe si el cliente está llamando como por primera vez a poner un, un reporte o si ya tiene un reporte previo y lo que quiere es revisar cómo va el proceso, ¿verdad? Entonces, si yo okay. pregunto de una sola vez, ¿es this a new claim? The customer will say, no, I have a, a reference number, for example. Okay, I have a reference number. Oh, all right, then, can I have the reference number? That is what it continues, okay? There you go. ¿Estamos bien con esa? Bueno, estos okay. son ejemplos básicos, ¿verdad? Estos son ejemplos básicos de cómo se contesta en las compañías y cómo nosotros podemos contestar también. Ahora vamos a ver un poquito acerca de la gramática que está ahí en esa conversación. Porque, por ejemplo, cuando nosotros pedimos algo o queremos eh, expresar lo que estamos, o la razón por nuestra llamada, ¿okay? en este caso decimos, I would like to report a problem. ¿okay? I would like to report a problem. Bien. Para expresar el problema, entonces, ¿cuál sería? Bueno, pero aprendamos primero las formas de decir después del saludo y cuando yo tengo que decirle a la persona que me contestó, le tengo que decir, I would like to report a problem. Vamos todos, please repeat. I would like to report a problem. I would like to report a problem. ¿Ok? Y problem se puede decir de diferentes maneras. Problem se puede decir issue, se puede decir trouble, ¿ok? Se puede decir problem, se puede decir issue, se puede decir trouble, ¿ok? Y de cualquier forma hay una forma gramatical para hacer ese pedido, ¿verdad? O esa solicitud. Entonces, por ejemplo, si yo digo issue, ¿Sí? I would like to report an issue. Miren, an issue. ¿Por qué? Porque empieza con vocal y es contable. Es un nombre contable. Entonces, I would like to report an issue. Vamos todos, please repeat. I would like to report an issue. Like to report an issue. I would like to report an issue. 
I would I like to for an like issue. 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 Uh -huh. Issue es como que dijéramos una situación, ¿sí? Vale, vamos a ver, acá tenemos otra, pa también para expresar la razón de mi amada. I have trouble with. I have trouble with. Vamos todos, please repeat. I have trouble with. I have trouble with. Ok, very good. Uh -huh. I'm sorry. I have a problem. También puedo decir. I, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Tome agua, teacher. Oh. Tengo café, pero necesito semita. No, el, el, café es cierto, el, el, el café sin pan hace daño. Yeah, you're right. Okay. I have, I have, I have trouble. <laughs> Solo el pan sin el café. Ok, vaya. Oh, vamos okay. a ver entonces... <laughs> Acá tenemos que en a problem sí es contable y decimos a, ah, que no se nos olvide esto, pero en trouble eso no es contable. Entonces no tenemos que ponerle a, ah, ¿sí? I have trouble with, ¿ok? No vamos a decir I have a trouble, no. I have trouble with. Y no voy a decir troubles, right? Voy a decir trouble, trouble. Ajá. De ahí proviene una palabra, ¿ok? que tenemos ahora en tecnología que es trouble shooting. I don't know, I don't remember what actually is. Yes, it is like this. Trouble shooting. Trouble shooting means que usted mismo busca la manera porque ya existen los procesos para resolver problemas comunes, okay? That's trouble shooting. Trouble shooting, okay? Problemas que usted los mira, los detecta y sabe automáticamente cómo se resuelven, ¿sí? Porque lo hemos aprendido o porque existe un listado o porque hay alguna, alguna sección de preguntas frecuentes, ¿verdad? ¿En donde Hacemos troubleshooting. Troubleshooting. Entonces, vemos, no decimos a, ¿verdad? A trouble, no. Decimos solo trouble. Ok, no es contable, ¿verdad? Troubleshooting. Ahora yo les voy a hacer unas preguntas, ¿sí? Les voy a hacer esta pregunta. Do you ever call tech support? And your company? Do you ever call tech support? Mm -hmm. ¿Alguna vez ustedes tienen que llamar a tech support? Yes, teacher. When do you do it? Well, I have a problem. Okay, when you have a problem, very good. Mm -hmm. What kind of problems, guys? What kind of problems? In the system. Okay, with the system. So, what are some tech problems you report to IT? Mm -hmm. What are some tech problems you report to IT? For example, if you forget your password, do you call tech support? Yes. Okay. I printer. Mm -hmm. Password. Oh. Mm -hmm. Printer. The, mm -hmm. the problem. The connection of the internet. Connection. Uh, okay. Uh -huh. That's a um, connection. Mm -hmm. Oops. Mm -hmm. Connection. Mm -hmm. Do you call tech support, uh, for example, if you have a virus? Yes. In your computer? Okay, yeah, not you, right? But <laughs> if you get a virus, no, <laughs> not you. <laughs> you don't call tech support, you call a doctor, right? <laughs> but for your computer, I mean, you get a virus in your computer, <laughs> you get infected, your computer, okay? Virus. Yeah, maybe you call tech support, right? But usually, do you have uh, these kind of issues commonly in your companies with viruses? Does it happen? 
si ¿sí sucede eso en su compañía, los virus, o no, no es común. No. Ok, mm -hmm. it's not so it's common, not right? Aha, uh -huh, exactly, that's, uh, yeah, exactly. But for example, um, if you delete it by error, by mistake, your very important file that you were going to send and you don't find it or you cannot open the file, okay? Do you call tech support? Do you call tech support because of missing files? Yes. Okay, so deleted files, right? Deleted files. Mm -hmm. Are you allowed to use um, USB? System low. Oh, right. Uh -huh. System. Mm -hmm. When the system goes out? No. no. Mm -hmm. You don't call tech support. They call you. Stop everything what you do, what you're doing because the system is down, right? So mm -hmm, system goes down. All right. Now let's think about let's think about what we have in our manuals because in our manuals we have some very interesting uh, issues. Okay, we want to see these issues in the manual. So let's turn to page number thirty nine. Okay. Go to page 39. On page 39, we have this table, right? This table over here, right? And it says, <clears throat> what are the problems or the most common reasons to call tech support? Let's look at new software. Do you call tech support for new software commonly? No. No? Okay. No internet access? Yes, it's common. Okay, that's common. All right. Oh, I closed it. Oh, sorry. Quería quitar el lapicito. Go back, go back, go back. SB2, here I have it. Here we are. Mm -hmm. Okay, then we said no internet access, right? Mm -hmm. A virus? No, right. Deleted files? No. Yes. Okay. Paper stock and printer? Yes. yes. Okay. USB <laughs> ports out of order? Yes. Okay. Yes. Are you allowed to use USBs? Es funny. Um, yo tengo por divertido, pero no sé. Eh. It's prohibited? Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. Funny noise in the CPU, like... <laughs> Do you... Do you call tech support for funny noises no. in the CPU? No. Actually, we don't have CPUs now, right? <laughs> but yeah, mm -hmm. let's say, okay, no. Frozen screen. Yes. Yeah. Frozen screen or oh, my uh, company is black screen. Uh, dead. Oh, but the blue, the blue one. No, black screen is for a CPU. Blocked. Blank, okay. blank, mm -hmm. blank, 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 B-L-A-N-C, uh, I'm sorry, B-L-A-N-K? Yes, yes. Okay, blank. Mm -hmm. All right. So, yes, we can call take support, right? Mm -hmm. All right, guys, uh, this part the discussion, we didn't do it, but we, we talked about it, right? Uh, what is the issue with Robert's computer? What is the issue with Robert's computer in the conversation? 
Do you remember? Okay, it doesn't seem to work. It doesn't seem to work. Mm -hmm. Very good. It doesn't seem to work. That's true. Okay, it doesn't seem to work. Now, how does he report the problem? How does he report the problem? Human Resources Department. Uh -huh. A ver, pero ¿cómo lo reporta él? ¿Qué dice para reportar el problema? I'd like to report a problem. Exactly. Uh -huh. To report a problem with? With my computer. With my computer, yes. And he does it via phone, right? Via phone. Uh -huh. He doesn't use any automated system. Any formula, uh, I'm sorry, any form to fill out, right? Just calling, just calling, right? Okay, then. So let's say I'd like to report a problem, right? I'd like to report a problem. So this is the way. With, and then we say the device that it that has the problem, right? We say the device, because not always with a computer, we say that it can be with the printer, it can be with the router, it can be with the USB ports, it can be with, what others? Photocopier, okay? What other uh, appliances do we have in the office? What other appliances or devices we use in our offices? Do you use an iPod? Do you use a... Uh, I don't know, a tablet? What do you use? The, the telephone. The telephones, exactly. And we use also mobile phones too, right? Mobile phones. And maybe we can have any trouble with mm, these devices, right? Okay, people. So this is the way to report a problem. And the very polite way will be I'd like. I'd like. All right. A ver, esto sí es necesario aprenderlo muy bien. Would, would. Ese es el verbo modal que nos ayuda, que nos ayuda a eh, hablar muy amablemente, ¿sí? Pero en la frase completa. Would like to, would like to. También would like to nos sirve, por ejemplo, cuando yo quiero pedir algo de comer en algún lugar, ¿sí? Por ejemplo, al mesero, yo le puedo decir, I would like to have some orange juice, ¿ok? Me, por favor, yo quiero ordenar jugo de naranja, ¿sí? I would like to order some orange juice, right? Y así sucesivamente, siempre que usted quiera pedir algo, que usted desea, que usted quiere, vamos ya incorporando esta frase. I would like to. A ver, quiero oírlos todos pronunciarlo. I would like to. I, I would, will, will, I would, would like to. Like would, would. Would, would like to. Exactly. I would like to. Exactly. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Para escribirlo, se escribe así como se pronuncia. I se escribe así, miren, like these are the ways, right? I would like to report a problem. I would like to report an issue. I have trouble with, okay? I would like to. Mm -hmm. Solamente vamos a decir entonces, I would like to. Uh -huh. I would like to, y dice la actividad que usted quiere, ¿verdad? Por ejemplo, I would like to call my boss, I would like to talk to you, I would like to, pero estamos hablando de reportar un problema, ¿verdad? Entonces, para reportar un problema, yo uso el verbo report, ¿verdad? Y el objeto es el problema, entonces voy a decir, I would like to report a problem. Ok. Ya si lo queremos utilizar con la comida, dicho. Ah, ahí ya nos vamos a usar, por ejemplo, ahí podemos usar un verbo 
o podemos usar el nombre de la comida. Por ejemplo, yo puedo decir, mm, I'd like bananas, ¿ok? Quiero bananas, ¿sí? I'd like ice cream, ¿ok? Yo quiero, aquí no dice me gusta, ¿ok? Aquí dice quiero, ¿sí? Quiero sorbete, ¿sí? I like ice cream. A ver, con comida. Otra, otro, otra comida que ustedes conozcan que quisieran. I'd like. De chicken. Ok. I'd like chicken. Ok. I'd like chicken. Quiero pollo. Right? Ok. I'd like chicken nuggets. Mm -hmm. In the moment, in, in the moment, teacher, uh, I like, I like um, pupusas. <laughs> yes, right now, yes, I would like some pupusas. <laughs> yes, pupusas. <laughs> there you are. Mm -hmm. So this is the way to ask for specific food, right? This is specific food. But you can ask, for example, other kind of things, not only food. Okay, pueden expresar otras cosas. Por ejemplo, si ustedes van a comprar algo. Eh, ropa, por ejemplo, ¿verdad? I'd like a t-shirt. Quisiera una t-shirt, ¿verdad? Una ay, camiseta, ¿verdad? Right? Uh, si voy a comprar otra cosa, I'd like those shoes. Me, yo quiero esos zapatos, ¿sí? Entonces, estamos hablando de objeto, ¿verdad? Pero también vemos que esto puede ir con un verbo. Por ejemplo, si ahorita, Obviamente, no me están ofreciendo las pupusas, pero yo deseo las pupusas, ¿ok? I, yo diría, I'd like to eat pupusas, ¿ok? I'd like to eat pupusas. Y de ahí, ¿qué decimos? Would you like to go? Vamos, right? Entonces, um, puedo usarlo, fíjense bien, con un verbo o puedo usarlo con un objeto. Miren, con el objeto no va el to, ¿sí? Con el objeto no va el to, miren, pero con el verbo sí tiene que ir el to. Okay? ¿Estamos bien? ¿Sí? Ah, teacher, eso es para decir de que queremos comer, pero si en caso yo quiero decir uh, I like to have, tendría que decir que uh, has o have. Have, porque ahí no va, con, no va a conjugar ningún verbo, todo es forma base. Para, para decir que, que yo quiero tener uh -huh. esa, esa camisa o esos zapatos. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Lo mismo, ¿ya? Solo le aumenta lo que le falta ahí. Uh -huh. I'd like to have that t-shirt. ¿Ok? Puede ser to have, no solo to have, sino que usted quiere ir a comprarla. ¿Ok? I'd like to buy sí, sí. that t-shirt. Right. Eh, también podría utilizar, teacher, I like to need that. No, no. Porque, no, porque usted no quisiera necesitar algo, ¿verdad? O sea, no es muy común decir yo quiero necesitar. No, no, no. A menos ah, que sí, quiero sí. necesitarte a ti, ¿verdad? Ahí tal vez, pero, <risa> pero eso ya sería muy romántico, o sea, no sé. <risa> Sí, porque las cosas nosotros no deseamos necesitar, deseamos satisfacer la necesidad, ¿verdad? Uh -huh. mm. Ok, so ahí sería, I'd like to, a ver, otra idea, rapidito para irnos, I'd like to go to sleep, right? <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes, Ok, I'd like to go to sleep, mm -hmm. I'd like. Invernal como los osos, teacher. <laughs> all right, there we go. I need. Okay, tomorrow we will continue with the same topic, all right? Tomorrow we will continue with this topic. And remember that this is polite language. Polite language. I would like to. Okay? I would like to tell you something. I would like to buy this for my mom, okay? I would like to... Talk to you. Cuando usted le quiere hablar a su jefe, le habla con ese would like to. No le va a decir, jefe, yo quiero hablar con usted. No, le va a decir, jefe, ¿puedo hablar con usted, jefe? Sí, podría yo, tendría usted el tiempo para atenderme. Ahí se entendería con él. I would like to talk to you. All right. I would like to talk to you, boss. ¿Se podría dignar escucharme? Ajá. Yeah, yeah. 
Ajá, la hizo todavía más sensible a todo. <risa> y le va a decir, I would like a raise. Uh, I'm sorry, I would like to have a raise. <risa> Quiero un aumento. ¿verdad? Ajá. <risa> yeah. Bien, chicos, it's 10.02, so I will call the roll. Please, everybody, remember that you have to turn your camera on, and when I call your name, you say present. Alma y Emilia Hernández de Vázquez. Present, teacher. Carlos Edgardo Vázquez Espino. Present, teacher. Carlos Ernesto Galán Serrano. Present, teacher. Camilet Campos Cortés. Present, teacher. Fernando Enrique Martínez Macín. Present, teacher. Fernando Noel Mauricio Cíntigo. Present teacher. Gabriela Alicet Hernández Cruz. Present teacher. Helen Saraí Hernández Larín. Present teacher. Ok, José Antonio Campos Rivas. Oops, what happened? <laughs> what happened? What happened? Juan Carlos Gavidi Alfaro. Mr. Juan Carlos, are you still there? María Isabel Rivas Guevara. Marta Present Alicia. teacher. Okay, Isabel. Marta Alicia Rivera Sosa. Present teacher. Okay. Ronaldo José Guerre Guerrero Hernández. Present teacher. Okay. Rosa Estela Polanco García. Present teacher. Samuel Eduardo Araniva Galvez. Present. Saúl Álvarez Pacheco. Present teacher. Stephanie Magalia Maya Reyes. Present teacher. Verónica Beatriz Celso de Saldaña. Present teacher. Okay, people, so have a very good night. Good Do night. and submit your homework. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Ah, is there anyone who wants to say, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Is there anyone who wants to say, ay, si tengo que dar la asesoría, chicos, one to one on one. A ver, ¿alguien se quiere no, no, quedar? No, no, no. Ya todos bien felices que no había ofrecido, ya. Ajá. <laughs> Ya los vi, ya, y si es que les ven la carita. Ustedes creen que no los miro, pero yo tengo un spy cam a todos los que no ponen la cámara. Ajá. Es de sueño. <ríe> es de sueño la carita, vaya, pues está bien. Ok, is there uh, anything I can help you guys? Anyone? No? no. Nobody wants to say? A mí me preocupa no, porque no. eso quiere decir que, eso quiere decir o que entendieron todo o que no saben qué preguntar, ¿ok? <ríe> Eso me preocupa. Más seguro es no saber qué preguntar, teacher. Pues entonces se queda Débora, se queda Débora, se queda no, 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 teacher. <ríe> ok, bueno, está bien, pues les vamos a dar vacación. Vamos a ver, pues. Have a very good night, everybody. Bye, bye. Good night. Bye, bye. Good night, good night, good night, good night teacher. Good night. night, night. Bye, see you. Good night, teacher. Bye. Bye. See you tomorrow. Mr. Jose Antonio, do you want to stay? Do you have any question? Remember to watch the video, okay?